Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a bit of a different one. We're going to be talking about so many things because there is a lot going on right now inside of FIFA 22 and also a lot of conversations, a lot of leaks actually going around this early for the next promo. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about it, but potentially some foot freeze cards have been leaked already uh, because people have these leaks evidently so early and they're already starting to post them. Um, and we're going to just bring up the conversation of leaks in FIFA this year for just a little bit, right? I don't want to spend too much time on it, but I want to talk about it for just a little bit because it has to be addressed, right? It has to be addressed because it is a very hot topic right now. And it's been something that has been, you know, definitely more noticeable this year in FIFA 22 than it has been in years past. I want to look at those leaked freeze players and talk about that. I mean, they are, again, leaks, right? So it's not confirmed, but so far the leaks this year have been pretty accurate. So we'll talk about some of that stuff. And then also the market right now, which is actually going kind of crazy with lightning rounds. I'm recording this at three, just past 3 a.m. UK, and we have had lightning rounds for the past two hours um, on this game, which on a Sunday seems a little bit crazy. And I'm actually kind of su uh, surprised, but we have seen some prices move on the market in the last basically hour um, for some people that were going out and trying to buy some of these team of the group stage cards before weekend league rewards hit this morning on Monday. Uh, and some of these cards have taken a quick dip in price and it's maybe actually presented a little bit of a buy window. Um, so if you're on an active uh, and you saw this price dip, maybe you got involved with a few of these cards that have dipped down. I mean, Anthony was just 180,000 coins. And right now, Footbin has him showing at 160. Wow, that's like a 20K drop literally in the past hour. So I'm keeping an eye on this because these late night lightning rounds are making things very interesting. I also want to talk about Monday content upgrade packs today, question mark, right? Uh, Road to the knockouts are a very popular investment for a lot of people right now on this game as well. And I do want to talk about those. But first, I got to talk about the elephant in the room, right? If you guys have been on Twitter, you guys have seen this. Uh, and I want to talk about just why Why do I even mention leaks, right? I have to I have to bring that up as well. But let's talk about it, right? So this, a couple of tweets going around, not just this specific one, but this is just the one that is, I feel like, gaining the most traction. And this is the tweet that everybody is going back to. People have leaks for the upcoming foot freeze promo already. I mean, it is Monday, right? It is Monday. This promo is either this Friday or like next Friday. We have no idea when this is going to be most likely this coming Friday. And we already have names that are being leaked. Now, again, first things first, why am I showing you this? Well, my goal of having this channel and making YouTube videos talking about FIFA and the market and this content on the game is to give you the best analysis, what is to come, why things have happened, and basically, when stuff impacts the market, I have to talk about it. I want to talk about it to understand why this market moves. And when we have leaks, like as we've seen so much more this year than ever in years past, I would be doing you a disservice by not talking about leaks and how they affect the market when they are out, right? And so I, I can't just gloss over these and not talk about it. This is a big deal, right? And it does affect the market even this early in the week as people are already starting to expect some of these cards this weekend. No idea what the foot freeze promo is going to look like and no idea if this is even halfway legit as of right now, but this is a leak already. And this is really just bringing up the topic on Twitter uh, of people that are just posting leaks for clout. I understand why this guy is posting this leak, right? Why would he hold on to the names of these players when he can post them and, and get all the clicks and all that stuff? I mean, I understand why he's doing that. That's not my that's never been my prerogative, right? That's why, that's not my motivation for posting content is to just get clicks. I'm here to help, right? I'm here to help and inform to the best of my abilities and to have a conversation and talk things through on this ever-changing and ever-increasingly difficult market and game uh, of FIFA 22. So, I just think that it's crazy the leaks are coming out this early. I don't know what EA thinks about it. Of course, EA would imagine, I would imagine they would say, hey, we don't like these leaks. We want to try to stop them, but they don't really put an effort out to do that. Um, and it just seems like these leaks are coming out earlier and earlier, and it comes down to like a moral issue, right? A lot of these people are saying, uh, yes, I confirm that people have the freeze team. Uh, you think this is getting out of hand. Stuff is getting leaked too early, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, it's, it's just a really tricky situation where, 
what do you value, right? Do you value the surprise? I don't, I necessarily don't like leaks, right? Every single week, it feels like we know the cards that are coming out before the promo actually drops. And I, I dislike that. I really do because I like the surprise factor. I like, um, you know, just kind of the anonymity, right? Of these cards when they're about to get dropped on the game, right? It's fine when the Champions League page, like for these Team of the Group Stage cards last week, uh, they posted a few of them an hour before. That's fine. Like, do a sponsored reveal. Like, if Adidas would have tweeted out cards for the Numbers Up promo, which I think they might have done anyways, or we kind of knew which ones those were. I mean, literally every single promo this year has been leaked, right? So, again, I just had to show you guys some of those names that are in there because there are some pretty big names, and people are going to start to, you know, maybe invest in those gold cards. I mean, that's how it affects the market, right? People invest in those gold cards that are specifically or supposedly going to go out of packs, People start to think about link investments. They think about selling cards for, you know, let's say, again, like one of the names that is in that team is Rashford, right? Maybe people will sell their Hyunmin Sons this week uh, expecting a Rashford card. Now, again, Foot Freeze has been like a position change promo. So Rashford might not be a left mid, but, you know, I just, it's crazy. The, le the leak situation right now on this game, the just... I don't know. I, I'm just not a huge fan of the leaks. I understand why people like to post them because it gets them clicks, but I'm not just here for clicks, man. I'm here for fun. I'm here to enjoy this game to the to the fullest that EA is wanting it to be enjoyed too. Uh, and of course, we're putting our extra spin on it and putting extra time into the transfer market that EA, of course, doesn't expect all of us to do. Um, but again, that, I don't want to really say too much more about that. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, tell me what you guys think, right? I miss the surprise factor uh, of some of these of these promo cards uh, not being known like a whole entire three to four days or now like a week before the promo and before these players are going to be out. I, I missed that bit of a surprise factor uh, to that stuff. So we'll talk more about foot freeze if it is looking like it's going to be coming later on this week. Um, but I just had to show that to you guys there uh, because it's going to affect the market, right? It's going to start to already affect the market. And I, I just hope that somehow in some way we can get those leaks closed up, right? Because uh, I, I just feel like it, it doesn't promote a um, just, you know, it just, it just promotes a lot of things that I, I don't necessarily stand for, right? I, I, I definitely stand for like honesty and, and stuff like that. And I feel like just leaks, nothing ever positive comes out of leaks, man, um, to be completely honest. It, it all just feels kind of like snaky and under the table. And, you know, you want to know because everybody wants to be in the know. But I don't know, man. I just, I'm just never a big fan of those leaks in my personal opinion. But that's enough because we talked about leaks for far too long. Let's talk about this market, right? And what is here in the now. Today is Monday, right? Today is Monday, weekly rewards. And a lot of these cards have actually dropped into rewards. If we go back and look at the team of the group stage team, um, yesterday on Sunday wasn't a really crazy day of content. We had the Nementia SBC Nemecha, I don't even know if I'm saying his name correctly. N Lucas Nemecha for the Goal of the Group Stage Award. Got a pretty nice upgrade from his silver card, but again, a lot of downvotes because this item at its price, although it does have some okay stats, and Bundesliga strikers, especially in the pacey variety, there's not very many of them since Timo Werner has left the Bundesliga. So this card is filling a hole that needs to be filled in terms of there's not many pacey Bundesliga strikers or any at all. But he's just a little bit overpriced. Three star weak foot, uh, or sorry, three star skills, and it just looks okay, right? It just looks okay. Um, if they would have boosted boosted the skills to four star, four star, and maybe uh, added high medium work rates instead of medium medium, um, maybe and and made this SBC about fifty thousand coins cheaper, it might be a bit more well received. But that was our SBC yesterday, and our three new cards that were released are Anthony. Right, everybody is looking at this card and saying, uh, is, "Isn't that just a copy paste of the Nerez SBC?" Which it definitely is. Uh, and this card is only 150,000 coins, and it's probably going to drop further on throughout the rest of this week as these cards are in packs. Bruno Fernandez is, and still, in my opinion, very overpriced. But that's how all of these cards were day one. Um, you know, 800,000 coins for Bruno at the moment. When you compare this card to KDB, who is basically the same price, KDB blows him out of the water. So I know that Portuguese links are pretty big um, in, you know, in this game with Renato and with the Dijalo card. Portuguese links this FIFA are pretty massive um, again. But I think this Bruno should be like another, I think this should be a 500K card in, in my honest opinion. Now, I know the market is very high still. Again, we're trending higher, right? There hasn't been a huge drop off. There's been a few areas of selling, 
We'll talk about that today, but the market still overall is pretty high. So that's why I think that Bruno is, is up in price. Now, the other card that we got to yesterday was Toko Akambi and Trent Alexander-Arnold. And this Trent Alexander-Arnold card, to be honest with you, it just doesn't have it doesn't have a lot of hype around it because a Trent card is a right back with 84 pace. I'm sure he feels pretty decent in game, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a good card to trade with, whether it be chemistry style trading with like shadow, um, with a shadow, of course, on the card. People are going to say, hey, you can put a shadow on this card and, you know, he'll be a pretty solid right back. But to me, this looks like a pretty solid midfielder, if I'm being completely honest with the passing stats that he has. Uh, but this trend's a lot cheaper than his rule breaker item, and that's just because he doesn't have the pace. So the mini release yesterday was okay, nothing insane. But again, these cards are going to be a bit more rare, as they always are. The cards that are released on the mini releases are more rare because they have less supply. They were not in packs for all the packs that were open on Friday and Saturday. They're only in packs for five days instead of seven. Now, speaking of supply, today is again weekly rewards getting paid out, and those lightning rounds that I mentioned uh, that EA dropped at 2 and 3 a.m. UK time or 9 or 10 p.m. Eastern, whatever time conversion that is for you. Are these selling out? Um, 17,000. No, they're not going to sell out. They're away in 30 minutes. So they started at, I think, like 27,000 or something like that, or maybe even 30. So that's going to get really close to selling out, potentially not. Uh, but that's bringing some supply on the market. And I'm actually looking into some of these cards before rewards because I feel like people are going to get some rewards today on Monday. And you might see a few of these cards you know, shoot up in price. One of them I looked at was Lewandowski. Lewandowski has been hurt big time by this Nementia card dropping. 240, ooh, that's a center mid position change with the Hunter. I'm gonna pick that up because Sule, again, has the kids all hyped right now. And this Lewandowski card is really rare. He's really high rated, 93 rated. Again, I go up 20,000 coins and we have two pages of supply. And Lewandowski is down like literally 240K. I'm pretty sure he was 310 or 320 before the Dementia SBC. An SBC that a lot of people didn't like for the value of the card makes me really interested in this Lewandowski uh, for the how much he's dropped off, for how rare he is, and just for the big name and the links that he has, right? The Sane card that is out as well. I, I bought a Dejalo tonight. Again, I know that there's those two big center backs that are out right now in this game with SBCs. I bought a Jalo tonight at 335 because when the first lightning round of the 85 plus star pack came out, he dropped like 20K in 15 minutes. Uh, I picked one up at 335, which is looking like a really good buy at the moment. And then I think I had a couple other... Oh, I bought a couple Chiesas as well. Chiesa is still 220, um, but I was able to snag one at 214 and a 200 flat snipe. I got really lucky with those. So hopefully today after rewards, we see a bounce back on some of these items as people get their weekly rewards. I think you'll see that on the, on the gold market as well. Um, wait a second. This is actually monumental. Gold Kempembe. Gold Kempembe is less than 10,000 coins, boys. Are you serious? Less than 10K for the best center back in the game. Okay, he's right at 9.9K. That's actually nuts. I just saw that on Footbin. But anyways, I do think you'll see a bit of the market bounce back uh, today after the weekend league rewards get paid out uh, this morning on Monday. Now, the lightning round should be over, right? Like maybe we'll see one more lightning round today. I would still, I'm still, i still surprised that they're doing this many lightning rounds on a weekend. This is must be the new normal for promo teams throughout the weekend when they do lightning rounds. It used to just be the 6, 7, and 8 p.m. Uh, UK lightning rounds um, on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it looks like they're mixing it up. Is that 480 still sitting for Marquinhos? All right, I'm going to take a look at this Marquinhos as well because this Marquinhos is a very rare card. And I think that he was 520k yesterday, really rare item, uh, 480. Is that actually sitting still? Is that the cheapest one? It is. I'm going to let that sit and see if Footbin undercuts it anymore because we have a whole page here at 500. So I'm going to be a slight bit greedy since I know these lightning rounds have been coming out. If I can snag like a 475 on Marquinhos, I would love that. I would absolutely love that. Maybe on bid in the next hour or two. So I'm going to try to snag one of those tonight potentially. Um, before the rewards time frame, and then maybe another um, another level or two. If I can get 240, 240 or under is kind of my kind of my goal price on that Lewandowski. And I also, I think if I get 150k on Anthony, I think I kind of like that card as well. So again, these are pretty risky flips. Like to be completely honest, these are these are really risky because these guys are going to get supplied more at rewards. I just feel like there's going to be enough demand after rewards. Uh, that these cards are going to pick up in price just a little bit. And I'll probably sell them before 6 p.m. UK today on Monday. Now, again, let's talk Monday for a second, right? 
Uh, upgrade packs are one of the most, I guess, expected pieces of content that could be dropped today. Um, you have got these cards. I think that also with rewards today, people are going to go out and do the PK and Sule SBC with the coins that they get. So watch out for your Ter Stegen, your Alfonso Davies, your other links to these cards that have actually gone up a bit, which makes me remember um, De Young. Frankie De Young is a card that I'm slightly interested in um, if he's down enough. He's been between like 200 and 215,000 coins. If I can get a Frankie De Young with a shadow right there at 204, I was really trying to get one of these at like 190 something. If I get Snag De Young in the 190s, then I, I don't mind that because I think that he might rise up today with the supply. I mean, there's going to be a few team of the week packs paid out, of course. I'm not going to be awake at rewards, but this might be a card that people would go and buy to try to link a new PK card that they maybe did after rewards as well in their team to try out and play a few games. So I just feel like there's not a ton of other content on this game that will pull people away from the market and trying cards out at the moment, which is why I'm sort of interested in flipping some of these team of the group stage items uh, for a very quick flip, right? Very, very, very quick flip, that's for sure. But upgrade packs today, right? I don't know if it'd be a 75 plus player pick, an 80 plus player pick, 78 plus upgrade pack, but I would expect to see some sort of upgrade packs in the store today. Other than that, I, I'm really not sure what other content that we could be seeing today. Um, I, I do know one thing that, though, on the market, people are starting to kind of feel a little bit bored, right? Just a little bit bored, and people are investing on these road to the knockouts. And not that this that these cards getting invested in only means that there is boredom out there, but Fred is literally up like 50,000 coins in the past day. He's actually 450. That's a slight undercut. He was 460 just a little bit ago. Taking a look at a few of these items on the market as well, comparing to the prices that we saw earlier this past weekend, Sonaldo's actually down about 30,000 coins. He was 550, 560. Sane is up 20K. Um, Tonali is about the same price. Graven Birch is rising. Rodrigo is rising. Hamari Traore, Robertson, Dan Juma. People are really starting to go in on these road to the knockout cards that are getting either one upgrade later on this week or a double upgrade, right? Um, Immobile is 110. I mean, he's getting an upgrade and that links to the new Chiesa card that everybody's hyped about. So I'm kind of curious about Immobile because he keeps dropping off. He is going to get upgraded, but there's a lot of eyes on cards like Diata and Tapsoba because Tapsoba is an 84. If they win their last game this week, he's going to go to an 87. He's going to get that double upgrade. Diata could go to an 86 with a double upgrade as well. Um, so, you know, you know, it's very interesting that a lot of people are investing in these again. I'm just going to be very cautious with road to the knockouts for later on this week because I really feel like um, if you didn't get in early and you don't sell at the right time, Again, these Road to the Knockout cards are no longer live after this week. Like these weeks, this week's games that we are seeing in the next few days, after these games, wow, uh, Immobile is not 110K foot in, you're capping. Uh, after this week's games, these cards are, um, they're, they're done so, right? They're not live and upgrading cards into the knockout rounds, only for the group stages. So that is one thing that I'm trying to remember with these cards and that uh, I don't want to get stuck with them because I do feel like a lot of them, like Timo Werner still being almost a million coins. I know that he is going to get, he's going to go to a 90 rated card, but does that really make him worth this much on the market? Does it really make him worth almost a million coins? I, I don't think so. I, I think this card is overpriced and I think that there's going to be a decent amount of these RTTK cards that drop off after this week, after their games are played, even if they're still going to get upgrades, but after the upgrades come as well, maybe early next week or late this week, I think you'll start to see some of those dropping off. So that's just kind of what's going on on the market right now. Again, the rewards time frame today is going to be a bit interesting. Watch your like Van Dyke team of the week card. Some of these really rare items from team of the week, if you want to snag a Griezmann for your team, you know, into the, the 30K range might not be a too terrible time. It's basically going to be one of the, a big time of supply for the team of the week and for some of these cards as well, even though they're in packs for the rest of the later on this week, some of these cards might get to very near low points. If the content is very quiet this week, some of these cards might get near low points uh, early on. So again, we don't know what's coming later on this week. They could drop any sort of SBC or preview packs. You guys know all the potentials that they could drop, right? Uh, at any time, but I, it doesn't seem like EA is going all out for this promo. It seems like it's just they're, they're doing a decent enough bit of content 
to make things interesting. Uh, so that's why I'm kind of keeping an eye on some of these cards tonight because especially like a brand new item like Antony, just kind of keeping an eye on this because um again like 168k how many pages do we have here we have two so uh, there's definitely some people that are trying to buy up these cards tonight and make an investment in them before rewards but these lightning rounds that have come out in the past two hours have really you know really really tucked these cards down in price a decent amount speaking of cards that are down in price a decent amount the high tier icons people are really starting to expect um icon swaps and prime icons very soon in this game r9 middle this mid r9 is 9.7 million right now he's actually down like 1.5 million coins hullet mid was 6.8 mil on friday he is now 5.7 million coins so these upper tier these elite tier icons people are finishing off some of their weekend leagues some of the qualifier matches that were played this weekend and these guys are getting sold big time so that's an update on that sort of the market as well i think that's just people selling before icon swaps don't know when Icon Swaps is going to be. We're probably going to talk about that later on this week. Hopefully, EA Sports give us some more confirmation and some more official updates on, on Icon Swaps. We want some communication, EA, please. That would be very, very, very nice. So, again, I know I just talked about the market a lot, but, uh, again, referring back to the very beginning of the video, I know there's a lot of leak stuff going around. Um, just read into that as much as you want to read into that, right? If you want to believe those leaks full heartedly and make some investments, you might make some profit. Um, but I mean, you know, that's also stuff that's like five days away. And I would, I would rather not put myself in a position where I'm trusting leaks for five days and waiting for something to happen. And I would rather go and make some moves on the market myself, trading with icons or trading with some of these popular cards like we do anyways, uh, on this game so a very interesting video again for sure but let me know what you guys think down below about the leaks about foot freeze content and again about these team the group stage cards and the lighting rounds that ea is running i'm very curious to see how much more champions league related content we have uh throughout this week on fifa ultimate team so that's the video for today boys if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions of course and subscribe if you are new it has been nate foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out <laughs>